So in this question, we're given two equations. We have b equals 2.35 plus 0.25x, c equals 1.75 plus 0.40x, and it says, okay, in the equation above, B and C represent the price per pound in dollars of beef and chicken, respectively, X week after July 1st during last summer. What was the price per pound of beef when it was equal to the price per pound of chicken? So again, you know, they're giving you some context. It doesn't really matter. We want to know um, when, when does the price of beef equal the price of chicken is what we're trying to figure out. So we're trying to figure for what value of X... Will the price of beef equal the price of chicken? So the idea is we're trying to figure out when does when does the price of beef equal the price of chicken? That's the question. So to do that, we'll just set these two equations equal to each other. 2.35 plus 0.25x. 1.75 plus 0.40x, and I should be careful, you know, I said we're trying to figure out when when they're equal. We're, you know, we're, we're ultimately trying to figure out the price when they're equal, but when we solve this equation, we're going to figure out after how many weeks, um, after how many weeks are the, the prices equal, and then once we know that, we can actually calculate the price. So let me let me be careful and clarify there. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do, again, I'm trying to, I want to get all my constants on one side and all my x's on the other. So I look at my constants, 2.35, 1.75. I always subtract away the smaller value, so I'm going to subtract 1.75 from both sides. So if I do that, let's see, 2.35 minus 1.75, that's going to be 0 0.60. We still have plus 0.25x equals 0.40x. Again, not allowed to use a calculator on this section, so, um, you know, I'm just thinking about money. $2.35 minus $1.75 would leave you with 60 cents. Okay, so next I'm going to get my x's on the same side, so I'm going to subtract 0.25x from both sides. So let's see, that's 0.60 left on the left side. Uh, 0 0.40 minus 0 0.25, well, 40 cents take away 25 cents would leave you with 15 cents, or I would have 0 0.15x. And again, to solve for x now, I'm just going to divide both sides by 0 0.15, divide by 0 0.15. So x equals, okay, so I've got 0 0.60 divided by 0 0.15. You could think, you know, how many times does 15 cents go into 60 cents? Equivalently, we can move the decimal place two places on the top, two places on the bottom. That would give us 60 over 15. Maybe you can, uh, again, do the arithmetic here. If you're not sure, you can reduce. You can start simplifying. Let's see, uh, 5 goes into 60 12 times. Uh, 5 goes into 15 um, 3 times. Well, that still simplifies further. 12 divided by 3 would give us 4. That equals x. Again, maybe you saw it immediately, you know, up here, x equals 4. But again, just to refresh you on some decimals and on just reducing. Okay, so we know after four weeks the prices are equal. That's great. We still don't know the price. So again, we can use either of these two equations. I'm going to use this one just because it looks like to me the arithmetic will be a little bit easier. So now if we use those two equations, we've got 2.35 plus 0 0.25 multiplied by 4. And the reason why I said it looks like it's easier was because 0 0.25 multiplied by 4, well, that's 4 quarters, and that's going to give me a dollar. So I've got 2.35 plus 1.00. It looks like the prices are going to be $3.35 when they are equal, which, hey, looks like answer choice D.